Hello friends, today we are going to see the linear differential equation. What is the definition of linear differential equation? A differential equation in which the dependent variable and its derivatives occurs only in the first degree and not multiplied together is called a linear differential equation. Actually in this uh, unit we are going to study the linear differential equation with constant coefficient. The general form of nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient is k0 nth derivative of y with respect to x means what d raised to n y upon d x raised to n plus k1 d raised to n minus 1 y upon d x raised to n minus 1 plus k2 n minus second derivative of y with respect to x plus dot 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 plus k n y equal to f of x where k0 k1 k2 k3 dot 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 k n are constant so this k0 this k1 this k2 so this k n are the coefficients so these coefficients are constant and that is why it is the linear differential equation with constant coefficient and, and f of x is a function of x so here f of x means which one this f of x means this side this is the function of x it may be sin x cos x tan x e raised to x like that so let's introduce now the differential operator so what is this differential operator let d by dx means first derivative d by dx introduced by d so therefore d square by dx square introduced by d square d cube by dx cube introduced by d cube and so on so if we use this differential coefficient so what it will be it will be d raised to n y you can see okay so d is called differential operator operator d satisfies these algebraic property so student throughout this chapter we have to find the solution of linear differential equation with constant coefficient so first we will write this linear differential equation in symbolic form see the complete or general solution of the linear differential equation so by using differential operator d we can write the linear differential equation with constant coefficient in symbolic form so how so you can see there k0 d raised to n plus k1 d raised to n minus 1 plus k2 d raised to n minus 2 plus so on plus kn operating on y equal to f of x it means that this d raised to n we can consider as this one what is this one this is a d raised to n minus 1 and that is why we will get this okay and this f of x it is a function of x note that this is a function of d this capital d this is a function of d that is why i can write it is f of d operating on y equal to f of x note that this right hand side is a function of x only so how to find the complete or general solution of this linear differential equation general solution of this differential equation into two parts one is cf cf means complementary function and second is pi so y equal to yc and yp yc means what this is the cf complementary function and yp means particular integral so before to start to find the complementary function we should know what is the auxiliary equation so auxiliary equation by equating a polynomial f of d with zero we get an equation and it is called auxiliary equation so let's see here if we have this much is f your f of d it means that coefficient of y if we equate to 0 then it is known as auxiliary equation student you don't forget we have to find the solution of the linear differential equation and we already know solution of the linear differential equation is what it is y equal to yc plus yp what is yc yc means complementary function and what is a yp it is a particular integral means we have to find complementary function and particular integral so let's see how to find complementary function so complementary function of f of d operating on y equal to f of x so complementary function is a solution of f of d operating on y equal to 0 since your differential equation is this okay so you just consider instead of that f of d operating on y equal to 0 means this right hand side equal to 0 and whatever the solution of this differential equation is known as complementary function for cf auxiliary equation of the linear differential equation this f of d operating on y equal to 0 is k0 d raised to n plus k1 d raised to n minus 1 dot 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 plus kn equal to 0 so this is your f of d don't forget this is a polynomial equation in d degree of this d polynomial equation is n so definitely there will be n roots of this 
polynomial. So suppose these roots are m1, m2, dot, 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 m1. Here we are going to see how to write CF. Complementary function of the differential equation is depends on the nature of the roots of the auxiliary equation. If we consider these n, n roots are there, then there are four cases, four different cases, which are these first supposed to be all roots are real and distinct. Second is real and some are repeated. Third, some are complex and fourth, some are complex as well as repeated. So let's see what is how to find the complementary function if there are these four cases means in different cases how to find cf so in this case the first is what all roots are real and distinct so here m1 m2 dot 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 m n are real what is the meaning of it it is for example if 1 2 3 this is one example where the all roots are real and distinct if we consider the another example 1 by 2 5 7 and 9 all are real and distinct in this case, how to write CF? So, you see there, C1 e raised to M1x plus C2 e raised to M2x plus dot 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 plus Cn e raised to Mnx. It means that for every roots, I am just taking one constant. So, M1, C1 e raised to M1x plus C2 e raised to M2x dot 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 plus Cn e raised to Mnx. So, by using this, how to write for 1, 2, 3 CF? So, I can write here C1 e raised to 1x plus C2 e raised to 2x plus C3 e raised to 3x. Remember one more thing here, sequence doesn't matter. It means that here 1, 2, 3, 1 can take as 3, 2, 1 when we are going to write CF. So, what is the case number 2 now? All roots are real and some are repeating. So, what is the meaning of here? So, M1 equal to M2. And remaining are distinct and real. So, in this case, I am going to write C1 plus C2x. It means that 2 times repeat. So, 2 constant in one bracket like this. So, C1 plus C2x. So, for example, here, if we consider 1, 1, 2, 5. How to write CF? So, 2 constant in one bracket. So, C1 plus C2x. And here, E raised to what is repeated? Here, 1x plus C3 e raised to what is third 2x plus c4 e raised to 5x. So, sometimes the roots are repeated three times means what for example, if we consider here 1 1 1 2 5. So, instead of m1 equal to m2, it, if suppose m1 equal to m2 equal to m3, then I will write here three constant in one bracket like that c1 plus c2x plus c3 x square e raised to m1 right m1 means same that m2 means same that m3 so three constant in one bracket you can observe power of s x goes on increases here 0 here 1 here 2 if repeated twice then here x raised to 0 means it is 1 so here x raised to 1 okay now consider the case number three what is the case number three here case number three is some roots are complex before to start that you should know what is the complex number if you don't know complex number you can go, uh, go through my separate video on the complex number so in short the complex number is a number of the form a plus ib where a and b are real numbers and i is imaginary unit what is the value of i equal to root of minus 1. If we consider i square, it is a minus 1. So, here one more thing you always remember. When we consider any complex number, any complex number means for example here, a plus ib is a complex number. So, a is a real part and b is an imaginary part of that complex number. What is a? a is a real part and b is imaginary part of the complex. If we consider 2 plus 3i, what is a real part? 2. What is imaginary part 3? So, number or terms which not contains i is called real part. And the terms contains i in that the coefficient of i is called imaginary part. Is it? So, if we consider different complex numbers, for example here 1 plus i. What is the real part? Real part is 1. What is imaginary? So, here it is 1. For example, plus minus i only. So, in this case, nothing, real part is nothing means 0 there. 
and what is the coefficient of i it is one so real part is zero imaginary part is one one more thing you have to remember there so whenever a plus i b is one root then there will be a minus i b another root. okay so for example here if we have one equal to alpha plus i beta is one root then definitely there will be m to alpha minus i beta second root. in this case how to write c f e raised to alpha x means e raised to real part x into c1 cos of beta x means imaginary x plus c3 sin of beta x means imaginary part into x plus c3 e raised to m3 x plus dot 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 plus c n e raised to m n x means this part is routine now so suppose here 2 plus minus i3 these are two roots then how to write cf so e raised to real part x in bracket c1 cos of imaginary so what is imaginary 3x plus c2 sine of imaginary x, right so here real means e raised to real part x plus c1 cos of imaginary x plus c2 sine of imaginary x. so you remember like this so fourth case now what is the fourth case fourth case is some roots are complex and repeated it means that if m1 and m2 are same alpha plus i beta so definitely there will be m3 equal to m4 as alpha minus i beta and remaining supposed to be real and distinct then we can write so here repeated two times so just like this case two constant in one bracket i am getting here e raised to alpha x so c1 plus c2 x cos of beta x plus c3 plus c4 x sine of beta x so note that here real part x so here the constant here it changes so c1 plus c2 x two constant in one bracket two constant in one bracket so that is why m1 m2 m3 and m4 so four constant i will get here so remaining it's a routine m5 m6 m dot 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 mn so we can write this as c5 e raised to m5 x plus dot 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 plus c n e raised to m n x so remember there student whenever we want to find complete solution is y equal to y c plus y p it means that complementary function plus particular integral y c so how to find y c so you have to remember this table without fail throughout the chapter because it is the half part if we consider total is y c plus y p and which depends on only this chart now what is the second part y p means particular integral then how to find particular integral so let's see methods to find a particular integral so particular integral means p i of f of d operating on y equal to f of x is obtained by using different methods first method is a general method second method is a shortcut method and third method is a method of variation of parameter so we'll see one by one so let's see so particular integral so linear differential equation is what f of d operating on y equal to f of x okay and can i write here f of d in bracket one upon f of d into f of x equal to f of x if we multiply this so i am getting this cancel and i will get this one it means that it satisfies these two equations so let's see what is a y you just see this total is y so what is a y here one upon f of d operating on f of x so in this case i can say whatever this bracket is nothing but y and that is why this is a particular integral same differential equation here therefore one upon f of d operating on f of x is a particular integral of the differential equation f of d operating on y equal to f of x so therefore i can write pi equal to means yp equal to 1 upon f of d operating on f of x. so whenever i want to find by general method then i will use this 1 upon f of d operating on f of x note that this pi means particular integral is a function of x only as we know in cf we are introducing c1 c2 means constant but in particular integral we will get only function of x it does not contains any arbitrary constant